Hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is David Novak. I'm going to read a an excerpt from The Gallery by John Horn Burns, which uh, really is a, a series of vignettes constructed out of his experiences during the Second World War. Here he is in Naples after uh, the resistance has fallen to the Allies. <laughs> I remember how the children of Naples pointed my dim conception of American waste. They'd stand about our mess hall, quiet or noisy, watching the glutted riches from our mess kits being dumped into the garbage cans. I remember the surprise and terror in their faces. We were forbidden to feed them, though I heard that combat soldiers, gentler and more determined than we, took the law into their hands and were much kinder to Italian children than we were allowed to be. When I watched the bitten steaks, the nibbled lettuce, the half-eaten bread go sliding into the swill cans in a spectrum of waste and bad planning, I realized at last the problem of the modern world, simple yet huge. I saw then what was behind the war. I'll never forget those Neapolitan children whom we were forbidden to feed. After a while, many of us couldn't stand it any longer. We'd brush past the guard with our mess kit full of supper and share it with Adalgisa and Sergio and Pasqualina. They were only the Skuznits of Na Napoli, but they had mouths and stomachs just like us. I remember the wild, hungry faces of those kids diving into cold spam. But our orders were that since America was in no position to feed all the Italians, we were not to feed any. Just dump your waste into the GI cans, men. But I remember even then thinking and fearing that we'd come to a day when we too, we rich, rich, rich Americans, would pay for this mortal sin of waste We've always thought that there was no end to our plenty, that the horn would never dry up. Already I seem to hear the menacing rumblings like a long starved stomach. But in Naples in August 1944, we were on the crest of the wave. We, we were Americans from the best little old country on God's green earth. And if you don't believe me, mister, I'll knock your teeth in. And I remember well our first facing of the problem that we couldn't live in Naples as though there were a wall between us and the Neapolitans. There were American clubs and American movies, but only a blind man can carry his life around with him quite that much. Perhaps in Washington, the generals had their doubts about the perfect probity of the American way of life and wished to make sure that overseas, we wouldn't come in contact with any other. Consequently, we were flooded with American movies and with Coca-Cola to distract our wandering attention and to ensure that we shouldn't fall into dangerous foreign ways of thinking. But some of us wondered nonetheless. The main leak I remember was in sex. It just isn't possible to take millions of American men and shut them off from love for years on end no, not with a thousand other American distractions. Sooner or later, every man's thoughts start centering around his middle. The cold and scientific solution would have been to have brothels attached to all our armies overseas, as other nations of the world have always done. But the American people wouldn't have stood for that. I mean the American people back home, too many purity lobbies from old ladies who have nothing else to do but form pressure groups to guard other people's morals. And there were few women in our army as compared to our own percentage. There were WACs, WACs, to be sure, but in such a tiny ratio to us. And with the nurses, we couldn't go out because they were officers. Thus, our perfect chastity was theoretically assured. 
From the hygienic point of view, there were pro stations on every corner of Naples. This was a nice paradox in that every interesting alley was off limits. The army took the point of view, you absolutely must not, but if by chance you do, finally, they had a restriction on marrying overseas. Then we started casting our eyes on the Neapolitan girls. These gook women, the mess sergeant said, it's so easy with them. You just walk down Via Roma on some, and some signorina does all the rest. These gook women. I thought that was a term to have come out of the Vietnam War, but I see it antedates that. So, just a passage from the gallery by John Horn Burns. A bit depressing, I would say. Thank you for stopping by my channel.